Hello everybody, Bill Harrison here with Harden Power Systems. Want to introduce you to the Water Boy. A very innovative, very unusual, solar powered water pumping system um, that frankly I've never seen before and honestly I've spent uh, uh, all of my adult life interested in stuff like this and involved in stuff like this and I'm pretty sure that if something that did this was available I would know about it. Uh, uh, the, the, the original uh, idea came from the fact that we wanted to be able to move water about 450 feet from the river back here to our shop, which is over here. You look at a project like that and you start, uh, you start uh, to appreciate why infrastructure can be so expensive. Um, friction losses of water inside pipe tends to dictate larger diameter pipes. Greater distances and larger diameter pipes dictate larger pumps. Larger pumps require more power. Um, the short story is it would be at least a couple thousand dollars, even if I did the design work myself, even if we did the labor ourselves, just to move water reliably 450 feet. Um, and that got us to thinking, and the water boy is the result of, of that. Basically what you have is a solar powered water pumping system. This is two separate systems. They don't need to be paired. They can be. You could have one. You could have ten. You could have a hundred. Heck, we'd love you to have a hundred. Have your neighbor get a hundred, too. Basically, it's a standalone, uh, essentially automatic pumping system. I'm going to turn this valve on. If you saw the earlier time lapse, you saw this same system in operation and and we pumped 13 gallons of water from this tub to this tub with no outside power or electrical or intervention um, in, uh, in 30 minutes. So we're getting flow rates, something in the neighborhood of, uh, of 25 gallons an hour. And in this scenario and in the time lapse, the water is traveling from this tub to the first water boy and through 100 feet of PVC pipe to the next water boy through another 100 feet of PVC pipe into the catch bin. Now, hopefully you can appreciate that if this total 200 feet w was not coiled together or, but was actually stretched 100 feet apart, the performance would be the same. Um, we're moving water an impressive distance here and doing it with, with uh, with 10 watts of solar panel on each system. What, what's going to happen here, and you saw in the time lapse, is that this bucket is now filling slowly just by gravity feed. That's causing the float to lift inside the bucket. That in turn pushes a push rod, which is going to start to tilt this panel up. <coughs> once the panel tilts, and I might turn it just a little bit, once the, the panel tilts enough to begin producing enough power to drive the little submersible pump, well, pump's going to kick on. It's going to start pumping water into this bucket. The same thing then repeats itself. This bucket begins to fill. Once the float lifts high enough, the panel is tilted far enough, it continues to pump. I've really been kind of fascinated by, by working with the, the prototypes and then now the production versions. Um, it is it's just cool the way the system uh, finds a balance uh, I in a way each bucket winds up acting like a buffer and the panel only tilts as far as it needs to to uh, pump the water level that is currently in it so small imbalances between uh, say the water source and the placement of different buckets that variation tends to be dampened just by the fact that the panels are putting out a variable amount of power based on how much water is in each bucket. It really is pretty remarkable. Uh, a lot of potential uses. Uh, I think we have only begun to scratch the surface of the types of applications that uh, this would be suited for. Gardening is an obvious one. People that are off-grid, people that have homesteads, 
uh, if the grid is down, people that are trying to move water to livestock, people that have a, a bug out or a hunting cabin or a, a place that they go to where they may not have made the investment in infrastructure, <coughs> excuse me, but when they're there, clearly it's convenient to have water brought to them. Um, historically, uh, throughout history, nations and governments and organizations moving water, being able to put it where you want it, when you need it, has always been one of the challenges of, uh, of civilized man. And uh, being able to move water with something this simple and to do it unattended, because maybe you're busy doing something else, uh, we think is pretty significant. Uh, an obvious example would be if you were catching uh, uh, water in a rain barrel, it's relatively easy to do, and it's impressive how quickly you, you collect water in a, with a rain barrel. But now you've got, say, a, a 500 pound barrel of water. Now what do you do with it? With something like this, it would be easy. You could just gravity feed from that barrel into your first bucket, run 100 feet of hose out to the garden or closer to the garden, add another bucket, and then you've got water. It's not under a whole lot of pressure but it's steady, consistent delivery. Again, we're talking something in the neighborhood of 25 gallons an hour. Um, on a, uh, a decent day with good sunshine, it's pretty easy to imagine moving a couple hundred gallons of water. Something else that should be mentioned that's, that's uh, an advantage is each bucket acts as an indirect sediment filter. And that's only because the water falls into the bucket. Obviously, silt and stuff will, be, will tend to collect at the bottom. The way this is designed and timed, the pump does not actually fire up until the intake is a few inches off the bottom of the bucket. The idea there is exactly that, to avoid that sediment. And if you did that, meaning if you were pulling water that wasn't, wasn't uh, uh, entirely clean, by the time you went through several buckets, obviously it's getting cleaner at each stage. Maybe one of the last stages is to run it into a Berkey or some other gravity-fed filter. Um, you can see here we're just starting to get some action from this pump and that's because this one is now running it's pushing through 100 feet of hose it's starting to fill this bucket and this panel is just beginning to tilt I guess I just encourage you to go to uh, portableuniversalpower.com uh, come check out the website. We have the obviously the time-lapse video which tells the story pretty good. We'll have pricing up real soon uh, We'd love to build you one. It's uh, and we'd really like to hear the uses people are putting to it because I'm sure it's going to be interesting Anyway, my name is Bill Harrison with Harden Power Systems. Thanks again folks. I appreciate your time. Take care